Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a Currently Inked. I didn't film a Currently Inked for March because I still had a rollover of all of the pens from February. So I did it for myself, but I didn't film it because it's all pretty much the same colors. I may have just changed one or two, but I've got a whole heap of new colors in my pens now. Um, and I thought I would film this month, even though I'm a little bit late, a couple of days behind. Um, but I'm just going to quickly show you. So this is my current pen case. My I've been wanting the Rick Shaw's one and I was talking to my mother about it and she um, surprised me and made this herself, which is absolutely incredible. Like I, I love it. You can either roll it. I've, I've pulled them out. They actually fit perfectly in like this. But I pulled them out so it's easier for me to access. So they all fit in perfectly. And you just squeeze them from the bottom so you can access them. But you can either roll it like this. Wrap it around. But I, what I've been doing is I've just been folding it and then wrapping it and tying it. Um, so I absolutely love this. My mum is such a talented woman. So I thought... I would just keep them nice and snug. My superior labor, my superior labor case, I noticed that the pens were starting to scratch. So I was panicking. So that's why I've jumped over to this one. I absolutely love it. Love the colors. This is just totally my vibe. And on the inside as well, it's got like really fluffy materials. So nothing scratchy or anything like that. So they're in their comfy little burrito bed. Very, very happy with these. So I've just zoomed you in a little bit and I've just got you on a little bit of an angle because it isn't the, it's the morning here in Australia and the light is pretty okay on this angle, but I've just turned the table so we're getting better light here. So I think what we'll do is we're going to start from, I might start with my platinums because my addiction to platinums right now is unreal. So we're going to start with the platinums. So... The first one I have here is my Platinum Century Celluloid in the color Calico. And this was my first ever Platinum, which threw me into my love of Platinums. Like the nib is perfection. I've got this one in a fine. I just love the little love heart on this and the size of it, the weight. I actually don't like capping my pen. I was just doing that for, to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I just, I, I don't like huge, huge pens. So I'm just going to leave that to the side there. And so for this pen, I always like to keep this one inked up with a uh, Ferris wheel press oyster hour because I just love that the color of oyster hour kind of matches beautifully with this pen. I'm not a huge black pen girl, but this one, because it has so much of the beige, um, the beige color in it. I'm totally fine with this. So let's start here. So this is, just make sure you guys can see. I'm not going to write their full names because Platinum Century Celluloid 3776 Calico. It's it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm just going to do Platinum 3776 in Calico. And this is Ferris Wheel Press. Oyster hour. Okay, well, you can tell it's the morning. I'm already messing up. Um, and this is honestly gorgeous. I absolutely love this. This is in the fine nib. The colors are just amazing. I just love it. This has got to be one of my absolutely favorite inks. Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour. Absolute favorite. Cannot get enough. So onto my next platinum, we've got the platinum tortoise, uh, brown pen. What can I say? Obsessed. <laughs> this one's also in the fine nib. 
and also has a love heart. I absolutely love this. This ink is such a beautiful wet ink. Absolutely love this as well. So this is platinum. Tortoise. Oh, S-E. And this is also in a fine lamp. Oh, love it. And this is, oh, sorry, I thought my dog, there's someone at the door. Um, so this is Diamond. Tobacco Sunburst. I love this ink so much. The color of it, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like, it's hard to explain. It's just beautiful. It's got like a bit of depth. It's kind of like a yellowy brown, but not like an orangey brown. It's just, I just absolutely love this ink so much. And I've actually re-inked this now for the second time um, since I got it with this ink. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love. Sorry, this is one of my top favorite pens at the moment. <laughs> Can you really have favorites with pens? Because all my platinums are my faves. <laughs> There's just something about a platinum that overrules all my other pens. I don't know what it is. I'm just totally, totally obsessed with the platinum. Now onto my next platinum. Obviously, I can't talk and write at the same time or scribble. So this is the Platinum Hachimonji Hatsuyuki pen. This is also in a fine nib. And this has Warangol. Don. Oh, Don. I hate when I mess up <laughs> and I don't want to try and mispronounce this. It is a beautiful kind of like deep pink color. It's actually gorgeous. I don't like two pink, pink colors um, for my ink. I like a little bit of depth and this definitely has some depth in it. Okay, so onto my next new baby. So I just had to have this, obviously you start the collection, you've got to have them all. Oh my God, that reminded me of Pokemon. <laughs> got to catch them all. Um, I caught her and I love her. I think she is beautiful. The only thing that um, I think is a little bit weird is how it's such a lighter pink here and then it goes darker. I don't know if you can see in the, um, in the video, but my OCD, that's the only thing that I'm just like, if that was like a shade or two lighter to match the barrel, that would have been perfect, but I'm not sure. It's probably just because it's got like a black barrel on the inside, but that's just the only thing I could ever say that's wrong with this pen. Um, and also I did get, get this off eBay because every other shop was sold out. Every time, I believe it's just the threads um, from the material, but like for the first couple of weeks and every time I opened it, there's like little bits of like the thread kind of like peeling off and landing on the nib so I kept wondering what like all these little white pieces of plastic were that was stuck to the nib and I figured it out it was just like the the material so every time like I would unravel it that always it would always land on the nib so it must have been coming off from the inside so that's the only thing I could say that's wrong with it other other than that she's absolutely gorgeous so for this one I actually um did a mix of two of my favorite inks because I already had um, one pen inked up with Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour and then another one with Diamond Gingerbread. So I wanted a slightly darker version of the Oyster Hour. So I did one tiny drop of gingerbread into this ink 
Um, and you can definitely see it like in the color sample. I'll come up close after I finish writing it out. But also in a fine nib. I find the platinum fines are my sweet spot. I absolutely love this. Um, so it is, the ink is E A D. Okay. Um, so first we'll press oyster owl with diamond gingerbread and that's just a drop of gingerbread. Let me just finish the writing sample here. It's honestly now my OCD is triggering because I started writing it this way and having like the swirls underneath and then I've gone over here and now I'm back. It's okay. It's a hot mess today. Um, but is it Thursday? I ha I've had a lovely morning but I'm still just kind of out of it. The last two days has been a lot but I love my job, so I'm not complaining. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, but it's just got like the slightest darker tinge to the calico um, with Oyster Hour in, and I'm, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. So very, very happy with this little ink combination. I don't know the rules when it comes to mixing inks, but I was like, yeah, YOLO. I just want to chuck it in, see what happens. And she's been very, very lovely to write with. Um, so next one, Pelican M200 Cafe Cream. This is the one I was having issues with. And then I got some micro mesh because um, she was ripping up the paper particles when I was writing. It wasn't feedback. It was actual scratchiness. A lot of people in the video said that it usually happens with the cheaper versions of the Pelicans. I've re-inked this one up because I want to learn to love her, but she's not my first choice when choosing. So I, I might sell her. I'm unsure. I also have an F nib that I purchased because I was a bit afraid to use the micro mesh. So I th thought if I bought an F nib, it would be better, but it's such a broad F nib. So, and we all know I like my, my fine lines here. So if I sell it, I'll be selling it with the extra fine and the fine nib as like a little package. But I'm going to hold on to her for the rest of the month and see if I actually like her. Love the color and everything. I just don't reach for her. She's not my first choice, unfortunately, which I know you should never have favorites, but I do have favorites and I'm going to admit it. <laughs> so what I have in this one is a darker ink so it matches the the cap in the end finials so this is the pelican m200 cafe cream extra fine And what I have in this is Robert Oster Golden Brown. And I do actually really like this ink. Like this is such a beautiful ink. I'm all over the place today. I don't know what's going on with all of these like little swatches. But it's just got so much depth. Like, I love this ink. And she is a good writer now. But you know when you just have your favorites and you're just like, no, I'm going to just stick with the Platinums. I need to, I need to put her in my, in my pen pouch so I, I reach for her more. But she writes beautifully now. Robert Oster Golden Brown. Gorgeous ink. Absolutely love it. I think I'm going to have to buy a bottle of that because that was my ink sample that I am using so and I don't want to dump it because I'm terrified of that um of wasting the ink because it's so pretty um so so the next one is so I'm just like jumping straight ahead today I'm literally all over the place today guys so the next one is my sailor 
Pro Gear Cafe Cream. Is it cream or creme? I always say cream, but that's just my lingo. Like, I don't know. I absolutely love this pen. The size, everything. Um, I love the little coffee finial. This is a Germany exclusive, and I was so, so thankful that I was able to get my hands on this. However, this is in a medium fine nib. Um, medium fine's okay, because it is very close to a fine, but I probably wouldn't have gotten it if it was just a medium. But I'm trying to experiment outside of the fine nibs that I'm so addicted to. So medium fine's fine. I like it. This one has my old faithful ink, Steep Dumber from Ferris Wheel Press. So she's a wet rider, this one. Everything's cafe cream, everything. Like ink, pens, if it has cafe cream in it, it's 100% gonna sell. So you wanna sell something, just name it cafe cream. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So. Love this ink so much. This is medium fine as well. Guys, I am literally all over the place today. Oh my gosh. You know when you've just had a busy week and your brain's just like farting 24-7? What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh, like I feel good today. It's just my brain is all over the place. Like I've there's so much I have to do today, but I'm like, I need to just zen out. Be chill, film a currently inked, because I've been wanting to do it for the past two weeks. And just like breathe and just and this this stuff makes me so happy and like calm. So even though I'm a hot mess. Next one is another pro gear. This is my Sailor Cross, so Times Wancher collaboration. And this is in the color mocha brown, mocha brown, not just mocha. And I haven't been reaching for this one as much as I thought I would be, just because my Platinums just have me wrapped around their little pinky. I do still love it though. It is such a beautiful pen. So I think I'm gonna put this one and my Pelican in a carry case and just, just like lean more towards this. But I think it's also because I put a really dark ink in this. And I've been liking my lighter colors when journaling. So maybe if I change the ink, although I did buy a backup ink bottle of this because this is the last of my ink sample. All these colors are looking very, very similar. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. All three of these, there is a difference whether you can see it or not. To my naked eye, you can see a huge difference in all of these colors, but they are different. They really are different. <laughs> Got a little bit windy, so. And this is a fine nib. I do love the fine nib on a sailor. She is very, very beautiful. So this is. So this is Private Reserve in the color chocolate. Without the E. This is the one that I bought a backup of because I love it so much and I've got so many brown pens. So, you know, it made sense to do that. Um, all right. I clearly cannot do two things at once. I just have to focus <laughs> one thing at a time, guys. Oh, that's so funny. So that was my beautiful Sailor Pro Gear Times Wancher Mocha Brown. 
Next one is, this is, I'm, it's, so it's April, right, in Australia, in Queensland, and today it's just got the chill in the air, which I absolutely love. This is my all-time favorite season, but, like, that tiny chill makes me so cold. Like, even in summer, I get cold. It's so wild, but, like, I'm freezing today, and it's, it's literally, like, probably, like, 23 degrees or something, or max like minimum 21 degrees and I've got a jump on inside with all the windows open so <laughs> um okay this is my Sailor Nagasawa pen and it's the Hombre one this is one of my absolutely favorite pens I love that it's like a green demonstrator and I love the ink bottle at the top absolutely love the little glitter here in the the grip section and this is also in a fine nib now I did change this to a brown ink because I wasn't I was kind of getting over the green that I had in here I believe I had Mad Hatter from Wearing Gold in here and it was a little bit too light a little bit too light it was yeah it was definitely that that ink I think so I changed it to a brown I'm very you know out there with my ink colors not <laughs> Does anyone else find that some of their sailor pens kind of just randomly get like the paper particles stuck in there? Like it's the same with my sailor mango nut as well. So I'm not sure if this just needs a little bit of loving with my um, micro mesh as well. But I just find that this one in my mango nut has been kind of ripping up the paper a little bit. Um, and I don't really have anything to clean out in between the twines. So I've just been kind of using a tissue and like pulling it, but I don't know if it's just because of a dry ink or whatnot, but it's been doing my head in. Um, this is, um, I cannot talk at the same time. Homura B, I believe that's how you say it. And this has, Robert Oster, Aussie Brown in. And I love this ink. Oh, they all look the same. Oh my gosh. But they're different this time. I didn't ink up like four pens with the same ink. So that's an improvement. That's 100% an improvement. So they just all very, look very similar. <laughs> Why am I like this, guys? I just know I'm going to reach for it if I have like a shade that I love. Love it. A little bit light and ready tones you can see there, but it's a bit darker when you write. But I'm really loving my browns. So that was my Sailor Nagasawa Homebrew pen with Robert Oster Aussie Brown in. Now onto one of my newest babies. This is the Estabrook SD in winter white. And I'm so glad I was able to get this pen because as soon as I saw it on Coco's channel, I died. I was like, where is that? How can I get it? Have I missed it? Surely I've been in the, <laughs> the planning community for the past year. So it definitely has not been released without me seeing it. <laughs> and then when I was watching um, the Juicy Board channel with Laurie and Vanessa, they had, oh, I can't remember his name where I feel terrible. The guy who works at Estabrook on, and he said this was getting released and you better believe I had my calendar set to pre-order it the moment it became available. And I got this in an extra fine. I really want to try the Estabrook flex nibs or one of the ground nibs. But when I go on the website, they're always sold out, like just the nibs. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that because I really wanna start playing around with flex nibs um, because I want I just bought a calligraphy, the Tombow um, calligraphy pens. And my mum, because she's a crafty woman, which I'm turning into, she actually had calligraphy books. So I've been practicing my calligraphy and I really want to get some flex nibs now. So, I, you know, I've had my fine, I've like most of them are fine. So I want to experiment. And if that means I'm going to move into the medium nib um, range, more than happy to. 
I really want to try the flex nibs. I want to try different grinds. But in Australia, it's so hard to get a ground pen, like your nib ground. It's, it's, it's honestly such a hassle, like all the postage, the waiting. If I was in America, I probably would have had so many of my pens, like had their nibs played with. But wow, that's <laughs> dirty. <laughs> had the nibs ground. Um, but it's just hard in Australia unless you buy it with that already on. But, so this is, oh, I've spoken too much and now it's dried out from the wind. Hang on. Okay. And this is extra fine as well. I like my extra fines in the Western nibs. So this has one of my all time faves, Robert Oster Cafe Cream ink in here. Oh, and I love it. I really want to also do the 30 inks, 30 days. Um, I know you can buy them, but I need to just stop being such a wuss when it comes to like crazy colors because I have no interest in it, but I need it. I just, I want to do it for the fun of it and like just play with a new ink every day. But I don't know if you can tell I've got a style, but <laughs> I've got a style here and it's pretty basic. Um, but I've, I, I want to experiment. I want to like get out of my comfort zone a little bit and play with other ink colors, but not too crazy colors. <laughs> um, okay. So my last pen for today is my pilot capless whiskey pen. And this is in the extra fine. This stays in my paper test designs weekly uh, journal with the Motam cover. So I pulled it out just for this video and popped it in here and it's already got a scratch on it. I don't know if you can see right there, but I think it's when I put it in my superior labor pen pouch, it's scratched up against, I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a little scratch. It makes me so sad. My poor baby's all scratched up now. That's all right. They can't, they can't stay perfect forever, but you best believe I'm going to try. <laughs> so this one, pilot. I love how fine this is for my week's notebook. Uh, sorry, my week's diary because I like to write really, really small on that. Whiskey, extra fine. This has dive in gingerbread in. Does anyone else when writing have the head like three inches from the table? I really hope my head wasn't in there. <laughs> I'm literally like so close whilst riding right now. Um, I do love this ink combination with this pen. I probably won't change it because it kind of just, it matches beautifully like the transition color here. Like it goes really dark and then lighter. I love it. Love, love, love. So that was my Pilot Whiskey Extra Fine. No issues with this other than the little scratchy poo. Am I, do I have ink all over? Wow, I'm a mess, guys. <laughs> I'm a mess today, oh my gosh. All right, yeah, no issues with this pen. I absolutely love her. Still one of my top faves, but I only really use her in my weekly diary. And that's got Tom and River paper um, and it's the paper test designs one. I've blabbered on enough today. I don't know how long this has been filming for. 30 minutes. Oh God, I'm gonna have to cut this down. Okay, so that is my currently inked for April 
this was done two months ago so next month my handwriting will hopefully have improved and i was using just the regular tombow highlighter for this so i'm excited to be able to play around with my calligraphy a little bit better um but yeah this is my currently ink guys if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you have any advice as to how to reach for a pen that you just don't reach for as much please let me know as well because i want to really love it i think just compared to my pilot uh my platinums they're my favorite like these ones here are the ones i reach for the most the weight of it in my hand the feeling of it it just feels so expensive i've out of all four of my platinum pens not i've never had an issue with one of the nibs and i love the love heart makes me smile every time i love the shape of the nib i just it's such a beautiful and elegant pen in all of the colors and i think it's just at the moment my top favorite pen i don't know it's just my absolute favorite so that's it for this video guys if you like it please give it a thumbs up if there's any inks that you think i should try like other browns or lighter colors or anything like that i think you know my aesthetic by now um please let me know because i do want to try out new inks but i've got, still got so many ink samples so i haven't been looking or buying any i want to kind of get through what i've got i've got about 50 ink samples that I kind of want to, you know, get through. So, but if you do know of any other ink that you think I might like, leave in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out and see your recommendations. But yeah, guys, so this is my April currently inked. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.